The Swedish Academy said the award was in recognition of Gurna's uncompromising and compassionate penetration of the effects of colonialism and the fate of the refugee in the gulf between cultures and continents. Gurna, who recently retired as a professor of post-colonial literature at the University of Kent, got the call from the Swedish Academy in the kitchen of his home in southeast England. I'm absolutely excited, he told the Associated Press. I just heard the news myself. Born in 1948 on the island of Zanzibar, now part of Tanzania, Gurna moved to Britain as a teenage refugee in 1968, fleeing a repressive regime that persecuted the Arab Muslim community to which he belonged. He has said he stumbled into writing after arriving in England as a way of exploring both the loss and liberation of the emigrant experience. Gurna is the author of 10 novels, including Memory of Departure, Pilgrim's Way, Paradise, shortlisted for the Booker Prize in 1994, By the Sea, and Desertion. Many of his works explore what he has called, one of the stories of our times, the profound impact of migration both on uprooted people and the places they make their new homes. Gurna, whose native language is Swahili but who writes in English, is only the sixth Africa-born writer to be awarded the Nobel for Literature which has been dominated by European and North American writers since it was founded in 1901. Anders Olsen, chairman of the Nobel Committee for Literature, called him one of the world's most prominent postcolonial writers. He said it was significant that Gurner's roots are in Zanzibar, a place that was cosmopolitan long before globalization bonus. His work gives us a vivid and very precise picture of another Africa not so well known for many readers, a coastal area in and around the Indian Ocean marked by slavery and shifting forms of repression under different regimes and colonial powers, Portuguese, Indian, Arab, German and the British, Orson said. He said Gurnow's characters find themselves in the gulf between cultures, between the life left behind and the life to come, confronting racism and prejudice but also compelling themselves to silence the truth or reinventing a biography to avoid conflict with reality. Luca Prono said on the British Council website that in Gurner's work, identity is a matter of constant change. The academic said Gurner's characters unsettle the fixed identities of the people they encounter in the environments to where they migrate. News of the award was greeted with excitement in Zanzibar where those who knew Gurner described him as soft-spoken and modest the reaction is fantastic. Many are happy but many don't know him, though the young people are proud that his Zanzibari, said Farid Himid, who described himself as a local historian whose father had been a teacher of the Quran to the young Gurner. I have not had the chance to read any of his books, but my family talked about it. Gurner didn't often visit Zanzibar, he said but he has suddenly become the talk of young people in the semi-autonomous island region and many elder people are very, very happy. Also me, as a Zanzibari. It's a new step to make people read books again, since the internet has taken over. The prestigious award comes with a gold medal and 10 million Swedish krona. The money comes from a bequest left by the prize's creator, Swedish inventor Alfred Nobel, who died in 1895. Last year's prize went to American poet Louise Gluck for what the judges described as her unmistakable poetic voice that with austere beauty makes individual existence universal. Gluck was a popular choice after several years of controversy. In 2018, the award was postponed after sex abuse allegations rocked the Swedish Academy, the secretive body that chooses the winners. The awarding of the 2019 prize to Austrian writer Peter Hand caused protests because of his strong support for the Serbs during the 1990s Balkan Wars. On Monday, the Nobel Committee awarded the prize in physiology or medicine to Americans David Julius and Adam Patapauschen for their discoveries into how the human body perceives temperature and touch. The Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded Tuesday to three scientists whose work found order in seeming disorder helping to explain and predict complex forces of nature, including expanding our understanding of climate change. 
Benjamin List and David W. C. Macmillan were named as laureates of the Nobel Prize for Chemistry Wednesday for finding an easier and environmentally cleaner way to build molecules that can be used to make compounds, including medicines and pesticides. Still to come are prizes for outstanding work in the fields of peace and economics. Lawless reported from London. Associated Press writers Danica Kirker in London, Frank Jordans in Berlin and Kara Anna in Nairobi, Kenya, contributed. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.